There it is, what is up? So, hi, how you guys doing? My name is Marvin from Beyond Raps, and we've been wanting to start this project, this whole YouTube channel project for a long time, and we kept putting up excuses, but uh, no more. I think we're just gonna do it, and roll with it, listen to you guys, see what you guys have to say, and just bring you guys along for the ride. We do some awesome stuff here at the shop, and we can't wait to show you guys. Um, so stick around. Here, let me fix you guys a little bit here. My bad. I think that's a little better. I don't know. I don't know how to do this stuff, but uh, we are going to be wrapping just the hood on this 2020 Forerunner. And yeah, 2020. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's got just little little add-ons that just made it a little different, a little bit better. And but it's definitely uh, worth taking a look. So check it out, guys. So right here, uh, we're gonna be just we're gonna be doing a hood stamp is what we call it. Uh, basically, we created a pre-cut template that blacks out this upper section right here, the bulge on the Forerunner, because that causes a lot of glare, especially on these white Forerunners. So um, pay attention. If um, if you're not local, you can't get this done here at our shop. We offer these on our website, and the cool thing is that you guys can just watch a video on how to install it and do it yourself wherever you are so pretty neat let's get started so the first thing we do is we make sure that the hood is clean and what I like to do is take some denatured alcohol or some isopropyl alcohol you can get at the drugstore like a CVS or Walgreens or whatever you guys have locally um, Wally Mart or whatever and uh, just put it in a spray bottle spray it and wipe it down. This gets rid of any oils and uh, uh, you know any debris. It creates a nice clean surface for you to work from. So the last thing you want is for uh, oils to stay on your hood while you're wrapping it and uh, that prevents the vinyl from grabbing onto the surface. So you want to make sure it's nice and clean. Another little tip is, even though you're only wrapping this upper section right here, you want to make sure to clean all around the hood so that you guys have the cleanest surface possible. So after you guys have cleaned and prepped the surface, make sure that there's no debris and you can get started. So what we like to do is, um, you'll receive like a rectangle uh, in your packaging. This will have extra paper attached to it. And uh, what we ask you guys to do is just trim along the edge about an eighth of an inch away from the actual wrap so that you have a better idea of the shape and, and you'll you'll know why in a little bit but once you've trimmed it down just around the shape of the stamp uh, go ahead and place it over the hood and if you've trimmed you'll be able to see you'll, you'll, you'll be able to better place the stamp where it needs to be We designed this so that it wraps around the scoop or this this seam line right here where the scoop meets the hood. Um, we've designed it so that you could you would leave about a quarter inch to three sixteenths. No, not three sixteenths. Sorry, I've got about a quarter inch gap in between them. And the stamp just naturally wraps right around it. So just uh, visually line that up. See where that is get started. Now in order to hold this down we use magnets. You can buy these on Amazon but they're just little wrap magnets that have little silicone so they won't damage anything and the cool thing is that it just holds it in place once you guys have the right spot. We're 
pretty happy with this section right here. Actually, I want to move it a little bit. There we go. Just make sure it's good. So once you guys have it locked in place, grab yourself a nice sharp pair of scissors and what you're going to do is you're going to peel this back. You're going to have to go over the magnets. So what you want to do is you want to go a little less than halfway you can see that and we're going to cut this paper off using the sharp scissors the reason they need to be sharp is because if you have nasty old raggedy scissors as you're cutting they're going to flake off pieces of paper onto the surface and it's going to contaminate your wrap so these are nice and sharp you get a nice clean cut and there's no paper residue flaking around anywhere nice and clean now what you want to do is you want to grab the stamp that's exposed and flip it back to its original position. I'm not pulling or anything, I'm just kind of like when you make your bed, you're just letting it glide over the, the hood. So you just want to let it drop with this section right here, be nice and tight. We're going to squeegee about two inches. lock it in place that's pretty much what we're doing right now we're locking it in place so now go back pick this up and just pull it until you reach that section that you locked and what you want to do is you just want to grab the center of it just like this I'm not pulling too hard I'm just creating a little bit of tension you know I'm squeegeeing the reason we're doing this is the, so that we can work, work the vinyl into its natural position without it leaving any wrinkles so, and I'm pulling where I'm squeegeeing, if that makes sense. If I start to squeegee in this section, I'm pulling directly behind it. So if I move to the center, I move my hand to the center. If I move my way back, I move my hand back here so that I can pull in the rear. Alright, so now once you get to this bulgy area right here, um, you can actually use your finger instead of a squeegee. You can just rub it into place, work your way down that bulge by creating tension and trying to keep it straight. So I'm just using my finger working the vinyl into that section. There's the first side. Take these magnets off, you don't need it anymore. Because you've locked this section down, the rest of it should fall into place. And it's locked the position so it's not gonna skew on you or anything. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling back the paper, I'm leaving it on the wrap. The wrap is, um, I'm, I'm keeping the, the liner. And um, that way you're not, you're not exposing the whole thing and it'll give you a spot where you can pull a little bit here without having to stretch the vinyl. And I'm not tugging it really hard, I'm just creating tension, remember. I'm just creating tension so that the vinyl can lay out flat. So, 
with the liner underneath, fold it over, creating tension a little bit, and just holding it in place. When I'm holding it in place, this area right here, because of the tension, is flattening out. All I need to do is just bring my squeegee over and seal the deal. I'm not putting a lot of pressure down. I'm just gliding the squeegee over with a little bit of pressure, not too much. On. Pull back about five inches and keep going. All right. So now at this point we can remove the entire liner and we can discard it. Keep in mind, you see this is all the same all along the edge of the wrap. It's the same spacing all the way around. So the same thing we did on the opposite side. Just lift it wherever you're squeezing. I am not tugging very hard. I'm just pulling enough to get rid of some of those wrinkles, flatten it out, giving me some time to squeegee it. Every time it flattens out, you just want to take your squeegee to it. There you go. Take you guys off the off the tripod and bring you guys a little closer to the to the stamp so you can see some of the detail that we did here. All right, so you see that this is the the gap that I'm telling you about. That's usually what you want to end up with. It's about a quarter inch all the way around, and the stamp is designed to once it goes past this little bulgy area right here, it'll continue to stay in that same gap distance. All right, and then back here you have about half an inch of extra material. What you want to do with this is just take your finger to the edge and just start slowly working it until it folds over into the into the hood. Same thing with the other side. Just take your finger, slowly start rubbing, and you'll see it. You'll feel the vinyl just start to stick onto the surface and start folding over. You don't want to do it all at once. You just want to gradually take your finger and, and work it back there. It takes about four to five passes until you're good. But yeah, there we go. It's all good. It's all done. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you guys have any questions, comment below, let us know what you think. And if uh, you installed this on your vehicle, make sure to tag us on Instagram, send us pictures, let us know how it went for you guys. Take care. Alright, that wasn't too hard, was it? So, what do you guys think? That thing looks awesome. If, uh, if you guys are doing this at home, uh, just be patient with it. Uh, you don't. Uh, make sure that you're in a controlled environment like a garage door, like a garage like this. And um, yeah, sorry, I'm, you guys are getting freaking dizzy, huh? I keep looking at myself over here, but I'm supposed to look here.
I don't know. I'm new to this stuff. If you guys have any questions, let us know. If you guys install this at home, make sure that you guys are doing it inside a garage. Make sure that the hood has cooled down. Don't do this right after you got home from work because the hood's gonna be really hot and the heat activates the adhesive on the vinyl and then it no longer becomes easy. It becomes a nightmare and you guys will probably throw away that hood stamp and it's just a waste of money. I don't want you guys to go through that. I want you guys to be successful in your wrapping experience. So make sure that the hood cools down. Maybe do it on a Saturday morning after you guys have eaten some pancakes with the family. You know, spend about an hour doing this project. It shouldn't take too long. It's, it's pretty quick. And um, just make sure it's clean. Make sure that you guys, after you install it, take a take your wife's hair dryer and just hair dry <laughs> the, the hood stand. Just warm it up as hot as possible uh, inside, inside a controlled environment. You, the reason why you want to do that is once you warm it up with a hair dryer, um, any bubbles that might be hiding will will rise and it'll pop up. And all you need to do is just massage them away just rub them away and or take the squeegee and just squeegee them down and they'll dissipate they'll, they'll, they'll disappear and uh, call it a day uh, and then afterwards you guys park it outside in the sun uh, for a few hours and you should be good to go I don't recommend you wash it uh, for about a week just so that it has enough time to cure um, by curing I mean um, en enough heat from the sun so if the more heat it takes from the sun the, the sooner it'll settle onto the hood. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check it out. Let us know what you think. If you guys have done this, comment below. Let us know how it went. And we'd like to help you guys out. If uh, this is your first time tempting this and you're watching this video to help you out, um, just be patient. Give us a call. 714-443-1500 and we'll be more than happy to walk you through it and help you out. But I hope this video helps. Comment below if you guys have any questions. Take care.